Let's check back in with Dr. DeLeo and those Asa Packer fourth graders to learn how playing with trains can actually teach us about science. We are going to make the world's simplest electric motor and we are going to learn about how electricity is made because they're both related to each other. Here's how you make the world's simplest electric motor. You take a coil of this thin wire, it's called magnet wire, and you wrap it about 12 times like around a battery like this. See that? Okay. And then what you do is, is once you get to the end, you kind of twist it to hold it all together. And then you need to scrape the insulation off. You can use a little, little pocket knife or you can go scritch, 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 scritch like this, you know, with a, uh, with a pair of scissors. Okay. So then we have our coil here like that. Right? We want to make sure it's nice and straight. Then we take a pair of paper clips and we simply bend it and straighten it out just, just, you know, just twice, like that. And then we wrap it around a pencil to make a little loop, a pair of little loops on the end, just like this. Then what we do is we take a rubber band, we put it around a battery, an ordinary flashlight battery, and we take our two little paper clips and we slip them in on either side of the battery under the rubber band. That helps to hold them. See that? Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we take these magnets. These are pretty powerful magnets. They're called ceramic magnets, but we just stick it. It actually sticks to the battery. See that? And then we take this coil of wire and we just set it right in here. And we have the world's simplest electric motor. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. It's really cool because what happens is every time the part with the bare wire touches the paper clips, the electricity goes through and it turns this into an electromagnet. And then that gets a kick from this. And then when it reaches the top, it turns it off and it keeps going around until it gets another kick. It goes kick, 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 like that. And that's how we get a simple electric motor. So what we do here is we take electricity and we turn it into motion. Now, you know how nature is sometimes symmetric, like the same on one side as it is on the other? Yeah. If we can take electricity and turn it into motion, do you think maybe we can take motion and turn it into electricity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see if nature is symmetric in that way. What we have here is a little meter, and when that needle is pointing straight up, it means that no electricity is flowing. So if this needle is pointing straight up, it means no electricity is flowing. So what I'd like you to do is to take that coil of wire, okay, and we'll hold this here so that the camera can see the needle. And we're going to take these magnets, and I want you to take these magnets, and I want you to move them in and out of the coil quickly. And what's happening to the needle? It's going up and down. It's going back and forth. Every time you move that magnet through the coil, it makes electricity. How do you like that? You're turning motion into electricity. Isn't that cool? Yeah, cool. And let's see. Oh! Look at this. Look at this. Look. Do you see this? Do you see the coil of wire in this flashlight? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you see the magnet that goes through the coil of wire as they go back and forth? Mm -hmm. That's how it charges the battery. When you shake it, the magnet goes through the coil of wire just like you were doing here. And then we have our light. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Now, another way of doing that, instead of having a back and forth motion, you can have a circular motion. You know, here's, a, here's where you can, for example, take um, uh, a coil of wire and make a twist move by a, a magnet, okay? And let's see, here, can you take this for me? Okay, now I'm going to hold onto these ends, and when you turn that, it's going to make electricity. You ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Oh! Okay, do it again. Oh! Do it again. Oh! He keeps on doing it. The humanity! I'm only kidding, it doesn't hurt that much. So what we're going to do is we are going to hook it on here and see if we can provide power to the train. What do you think? You think you can do that? Yeah. Okay. You ready? We're going to get this right over here. Give it a shot. Go. Try the other way. Good. That's the way our power system works. It works by taking uh, uh, motion and converting it to electricity. So why don't you try over there, and why don't you try over there? And I want you to tell me, did you have a great time today? Yes. Really? You had a great time? Yes. Does it get any better than this? 
No, it doesn't get any better than this. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. DeLeo. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? But I've got two special guests joining me right now. I mentioned earlier that we had fifth graders from Dunnigan Elementary in the studio with us. Well, we have our friend Summer Scherer and Danny Cadena. Thank you so much, Summer and Danny. Now, what did you think when you saw Dr. DeLeo's first experiment where he made that egg suck in the jar? Did you guys think it was going to work? No. No. You didn't think it was going to work? No, I thought it was going to, it was going to, like, make it stop right there, and it was going to crack. How funny was it when it kind of exploded on him and burst out? What did you think about the train, Summer? Have you ever made a train move yourself, you being the electricity? No. These were kind of different experiments. Have you guys ever done experiments like this? No. no. <laughs> There's all kinds of new experiments that you can do. What do you think of science? Is science fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can be. What do you like about it? Um, how we make different experiments and what happens after. Well, there's a lot going on. And Danny, you told me you want to be a veterinarian, and Summer, you want to be a school teacher. So you guys are headed on the great path for the future. I'm thankful for your time. I told you it'd be painless. It was just a minute. Piece of cake, huh? Well, 